We are back again from Kiefer Motor Works. We are doing some testing of an AC35 motor right at the moment that I put on the bench. Had to redo a couple, couple wires. Um, all that's working good. The issue I was having the other day was motor clicking. Click, 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 click. Um, when I turned it on and I was getting nothing and I put a different controller on. Same problem. Click, 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 click. What I had, what I had done is I had changed contactors. Contactor I changed to this around here was this bad boy. 24 volt coil um, basically just a nice open solid contactor um, figured I couldn't go wrong um, these other these other contactors like this were just screaming hot um, even the 24 volt one and I have a 48 volt one on right now and it's working just fine. So when I changed back to the proper contactor, it worked. So what happens is the, is the voltage going through to the contactor via the controller is it, it's taking it from the pack and then the controller senses how much voltage I guess would re be required and then it just automatically does it. It didn't want to work didn't want to work with one of these at all. <clears throat> so having these other ones, the Kilovac, uh, this is Gigavac contactor um, basically one of these just smaller and, and a 48 volt and no economizer and I think this is an economizer built in which is not what we want um, they warn it warn against it so anyway once I got back to that um, I have this really old um, Curtis 1238 controller um, that was used for other motors testing and all that kind of stuff and um, so it wasn't a motor problem it wasn't a controller problem it was a contactor problem so now we have a good contactor on that does work and everything works so the motor is actually on it's just been sitting here you can hear my power pack in the background uh, providing voltage for my key switch and, uh, so that's uh, that's what I'm doing, and um, everything seems to be doing just fine with that. Um, I'm still having a problem with my throttle. So I have one of these bad boys. This is an older Evnetics. Um, three wire potentiometer, um, very high quality automotive. This is just a, this is just a lever. The potentiometer is actually in the plastic piece here. And, um, but the problem I'm having is, and the problem that, that started this whole mess is that my throttle kicks out after maybe even an eighth of a throttle. Um, and it just quits. Up to that point, it works. Um, doesn't work like super fast, but it, it works. And my motor optimization testing works, but I haven't set it too high of an amperage for the uh, little wires that I have on here. These are kind of weeny little wires. And, um, and it was cranking out 300 some amps. And these wires were, and these wires are pretty long too, so they get 
pretty toasty really fast. So I haven't made any short wires here for the bench. So anyway, I don't know what the problem is with the throttle. It worked fine with the DC setup. Um, and it doesn't matter which controller I have this hooked to. Turn this off, turn that on, so we're on again, so I'm going to run this motor up a little bit here for you, pretty quiet, and right there, it cuts off, and my software picks it up as a problem. maybe an eighth, and then it just cuts off. So it's not giving a actual controller fault, but it does, is registering a fault, and then it goes away when the throttle is back off. So let's take a look at that. So this is my uh, battery pack for testing. 96 volts, Nissan Leaf modules, and it works perfectly. Yes, indeed. So we're back to the motor and throttle up. I've tried the two pot PB6, didn't work. there. Boom. Shuts off. Shuts off. So I'm going to try one more thing here. Hang on. Okay. Well, I figured out maybe another problem. So I've got a motor running. But maybe my dead band is not set correctly anymore. Maximum five. It's as far as I can go. I can go any higher. So, that. So you notice the motor stopped. I changed the dead band. Now we're set. My throttle is very sh short. So we're going to monitor that voltage where it cuts off. Let's, uh,
0.97 volts and it kicks off. So something is uh, amiss with the uh, We're going to have to resolve that issue. It's not good, but hey, at least we're moving forward. Talk to you all later. So we're going to watch all these parameters while I run this motor up. cycle it. Okay. Should be running the test. I'm just gonna Shut up. Drops back down, turns back on. Shuts up. Turns back on. See any motor speed, motor tuning speed. Interesting. Okay. I think that'll do it.